Abacom has raised $32 million from a bunch of high-profile investors and their stated mission is to automate financial planning as well as return maximum value to its shareholders. So I spoke to their team and I got a demo. And in today's video, I'm going to show you four ways that you can use Abacom today for financial planning. And by the way, if you're new here, my name is Mags. I used to sell software for a few years and now I help people to learn more about it. Let's dive in. So use case number one, reporting. Every company has to do reporting, right? To investors, to the board, to even different department heads. Abacom allows you to do that, but not in the bog standard way that finance teams typically do it, which is literally sending around a PDF with your three financial statements every month or so. Now you can bring in your financial data into Abacom from your ERP and accounting system, but you can also bring in operational data from somewhere like Looker. You can bring your sales data from your CRM, and you can even bring in your payroll data from your HRS system. And as long as Abacom integrates into your data systems, it can automate the process of bringing bringing in fresh data every month or so and updating all of your reports. Once you've connected data, you can create these nice interactive dashboards that you can share with different people. Here's a dashboard for the management team who want to look at some high level KPIs like cash balance, runway, ARR. Here's a different dashboard for sales managers where they can keep track of their KPIs like quota attainment, um, sales and marketing expenses and so on. And from this dashboard, you can actually drill in to the underlying data. So for example, here we have gross margin. We can drill into that. We can see that it's calculated by by subtracting total costs from total revenue. And then we can actually see the numbers that make up the revenue, as well as the numbers that make up the costs with all of the metadata associated with it, like location, time, and so on. But just because Abacom brings in all of your data into the platform doesn't mean that everybody in your company instantly has access to all of the data. Abacom allows you to set really granular permissions so that only the most relevant dashboards or relevant metrics are shared with the right people. For example, you might be wanting to use the output of your payroll in in one of your financial models, but you might not necessarily want everybody to see the underlying data with everybody's salaries, right? And you can create permissions around that. Now, the ideal scenario for Abacom obviously is that everybody gets the data and gets their reports directly within Abacom, but some boards, some investors are pretty old school, so they still want to see things in you know PDFs or Google Slides or whatever. So Abacom also supports a two-way integration into Google Sheets. So all those slides, which might make up your board pack, for example, updated automatically as soon as you load new data into Abacom. Use case number two, budgeting. Now, most companies put together a, an annual budget or an annual plan, right? Which they review and adjust every quarter, every month, or even every six months. But budgeting is normally a team sport and it requires input from lots of different people in your company. And Abacom allows you to manage that entire process with all these different stakeholders within the platform. Here's how you can do sales capacity planning with one of your sales managers. So first you create a dashboard for them. This dashboard has the KPIs that they're keeping track of, as well as providing a space for them to provide their own inputs, right? You can outline the steps that they need to complete as part of this budgeting process here. And maybe you also want to include a video that adds a little bit of extra context over here as well. Now there are different stages to the budgeting process, right? And Abacom allows you to set those different stages within the platform with evolving access rights for different stakeholders as you move between the different stages. For example, a sales manager might be able to provide inputs into the budgeting process while it's in progress or in, in review, but then they'll only be able to add comments to it. And once the budget's approved, they won't be able to make any further changes to it, right? And you can actually outline all the steps they need to take, as well as assigning different tasks to different people with different due dates as they move through each stage of the process. Now, you can also allow people to comment on individual numbers. For example, you might come into the dashboard, see some numbers around quota attainment, which don't look quite right. Maybe you leave a comment and the sales managers could open up the dashboard, input the new numbers directly from the dashboard Board. And that works exactly the same way for vendor level forecasting, for example, where we can give our sales managers a little chart that breaks out all of the vendors. They can then come in, add a completely new vendor because you know they're having they want to buy a piece of software or something, or they can update the forecasted spend for an existing vendor. For example, maybe we want to spend a little bit extra on demand generation in April. The finance team who quarterback this whole process can just see all of the activity, all of the changes that have been happened to the model in the activity tab. Use case number three: data analysis. Now, management teams are constantly asking finance for different KPIs, right? Like revenue broken out by subsidiary, product line, geography, and so on. But it's really hard to get that information when it lives across a bunch of different spreadsheets and all of your data basically is categorized into rows and columns. So instead of sorting data into rows and columns like you do in Excel or having different spreadsheets for storing different information about the same metric and then manually having to transform your data in order to establish relationships with all those different kind of 
moving parts of your data. Abacom stores all of your data in dimensions, where each dimension stores different aspects of your data, right? So for example, revenue has a dimension which is product, which has dimension which is geography, which has dimension which is time. And that allows you to slice and dice across those dimensions really quickly. Because your data is already structured when it gets into Abacom, you can just click on revenue and then slice along the dimension without having to manually go through the process like you do in Excel or filtering your views or transforming your data so it includes all the granularity that you might want. And then this allows you to build your forecast in a much more granular level as well. For example, instead of forecasting by department, let's say sales and marketing, you can do a bottom-up forecast where you itemize every single vendor that feeds into that sales and marketing expense tab. Not only is it much easier to query data when it's in a multi-dimensional database like Abacom, but dimensions allow you to query much larger data sets much faster as well. Use case number four, scenario planning. Now, before a company commits to a particular strategy, they will ask their finance team to come up with a bunch of different scenarios, right? To do this in Excel, you have to duplicate your model a few times, then go into each file and then change the underlying assumptions and then create another Excel tab where you combine all of your different scenarios on a single chart. But in Abacom, when you want to create a new scenario, you simply create a new version of your model. So for example, you might want to create two scenarios. One is a bull case, one is a bear case. The bull case has much more aggressive hiring plans, maybe higher assumptions around quota attainment. And the bear case might have less aggressive hiring plans that we hire fewer people and we expect attainment to be lower and ramp time to be much slower as well. You can create those scenarios with a couple of clicks in Abacom and then compare them both alongside each other on a single chart like this. Then we can share this dashboard with the management team who can look to see how those different kind of scenarios, different drivers affect the metrics that they care about, things like cash and runway and ARR and so on. Pretty cool. That's it on Abacom. Thanks for watching to the end. See you in the next one.